Welcome back everyone, welcome back to our everyday living. As you've seen yesterday, I finished putting this together. I thought I'd better do another one for today and uh, show you how it's going. So it's been going pretty well, I've had a few cycles run through it. i um, taking a bit of time off work to do this, to actually show you that it is actually working. Um, there's no leaks in the door seal, because we replaced the door seal. There's no leaks in the bearings or anything like that nor any hoses, it's completely dry right around it. So that's a win for me. That's the 8.5 kilo uh, that we finished off. But anyway, I thought, well, seeing we've done that one, we better get into this Kogan, I think it's called Kogan, C-O-G-A-N. Um, I think it's an eight kilo, not sure. Um, it does have a busted up couple of bearings I mean she's a busted up you can see how wobbly that is so we'll rip into this one get it done uh, looks like someone's already tried to repair the door at one stage where they've put bolts through they've probably tried to probably broke the door and by swinging it right around too far and they've done a pretty good job I reckon counter sunking nuts and stuff like that so it closes that's a damn good job but anyway, that's not what we're here for. We're here to see if we can repair the thing. We'll take that right out straight away. We don't need that in there. We'll whip the top off, get rolling. We'll pull all the control panel off and yeah, start right into it. Put all of our screws back. Take a bit of time off work to do this. Then I'll whip it down. I've got a few errands to run into town. Got a post and whatever else and yeah. Chuck that down there. Hope you all like the new colour of the, the bench. Didn't look real nice in the very first video I'd done. Um, looked a bit greasy and whatnot. I thought I'd better get in and clean that crap up. So that's what we've done. This one, can we repair it? Yes, there's bolts in it so we can take the drum apart. That's the first thing I've got to look for when I start doing these videos to see if it comes apart. So that one does, uh, we can take that block out too while we're up this way. That's a 13. While we're on top and we'll work to the front. Get things rolling quicker for you all. Let's hope this is only about a 45, half an hour to 45 minute video for you all. Work right away. Try to whiz this out, see what we've got. That way I can maybe able to get them today, I don't know. You know. Depending. Depending whether I can get them today or they've got to order them. We'll see what happens. Slide that up there, that to there. That clears that out of the road. We can grab this hose, a pair of pliers, that's a bit hard for my hands. I did get tools out for this one. That off there, the drum looks pretty clean inside there. That onto there, back to the screwdriver. Take that piece off there, we don't need that. Got the phone ready, so we don't have to go chasing for the phone. Gonna leave this piece attached to there if it does screw together like that. Looks like it does, there's a screw right there. Uh, so we'll take the front panel off first. Sit them there. Two screws in the front, that one looks a bit rusty. We know where it goes then. Come on, out you come, fall out. No time wasting here, boy. Thank you. Right, that should just pop off. Oh, we got one more screw. We missed that one. Now we got a lot of wires, so we're going to take a photo. We know where they all go then. Always take a documentation on what you're doing. That to there, that to there. Come on, phone. Oh, I pressed the wrong button. Press the out button, not the in button. There we go, photo taken for that one. That way it refreshes my memory when I go to put this bloody thing back together too. Rightio, so that one can come off there. That one can come off of there. They got a lot of soap powder in this, it's already fallen out. Got a snip of those cable ties.
usually I'd be just cutting wires off here if I was stripping the thing. Not today we're not. Side cutters haven't got any. Got to get some. They're all over here. We'll replace those. That one there. Up on the trash. Remove it right out of the road so it's not dangling. We don't break it that way. Right, so these two screws here can go back into that plastic piece. Where's the other one go? Oh, in there. That into there. Here's a big back to front, but it doesn't matter. Oh, that's not screwed into that. Okay, that's great. That just sits in there. So, take this one off, get him off out of the road. It's a lot easier. That way I can replace the screws. There they go. Sit them there. This one goes into here somewhere. Up the top, aren't they? They're in the top, in there. So I've got to take this off anyway. Got my son. Take this out of the road. It's done. Don't need to worry about it. Just makes life easy with that out of the road. We'll put, got to put one screw back into that plate. Not having screws lying around and thinking, well, where does it go? So I'll put it back now, I know I've done it. All there. Right, we've got to take the clamp off the bottom of that. Grab the pliers again, that'll get that out of the road. Then we'll get into the front, pull it apart. Like it doesn't take long to actually pull a washing machine apart. About half an hour, 45 minutes. If you're getting rid of all your plastic, like I do, um, they seem to like it when I go to the scrapyard and I haven't got these drums, the plastic parts and stuff like that. So it's a bonus that way. Um, now we'll get our barra. Sit that back for a second. Jeez, that's got a lot of soap suds there, hasn't it? Get our barra, milk crate, sit it up on its back. We're not going to need to take the back section off because we're going to take it all off in one whack. Hopefully we can do that. Milk crate under. Here we go, I didn't get knocked on the head like the last one. Oh, it's peeing. It's having its last life. <laughs> Isn't that what happens? You have your last life and all your functions give way. I think that's the way it works, I'm not sure. I don't know. I've never seen it. I've only heard about it. Right, that one there. That's a dirty old screw, that one. I might have to get a better. Yeah, I'm gonna have to get something better than that. Same as that one. All right. It's something better. It's in the boxy somewhere. There it is. That one and probably that one. Well, actually, you no, know, that one there would be better. It's brand new. That's why it's better. It hasn't been worn like that one is. Got to get a couple more. That worked. It come out. See, this hasn't been apart. Oh, there goes the air. Open our door. Make sure it doesn't go bang. Yeah, we might have to undo it, take that door completely off. I don't trust that. 
So this one will paint right off. Especially the way that door is, I don't trust it. Especially with that much weight. With the glass, it's pretty heavy. We'll just put those screws back in so that that plate doesn't fall. They are liable to fall down and you've got chaos. Right, undo this. Ah, flathead. Now, you probably noticed when I was putting the door seal on with the other one that I did put the spring down here. As you noticed, I did state that the spring is always down the bottom. As you can see there, the spring is actually there. So that's where you always start. Start your spring, take it off like you're taking a spare tire off, the tire off the rim. You don't damage nothing. Put that over top of the door, less chance of it getting damaged. Then just use your fingers, pull your door seal in. We'll inspect that door seal. Grab that door lock. Put the screws back. That goes through that, that into that, so we know. That one into that. Then we can take the front off before we get too carried away. Right, that should pop up. That'd be it. That's off it's got locating lugs that to there that down to there had to take a hose out of there well we could probably leave that hose running up there and take it off here probably I think that'd be best because we've got a cable tie there we can take all the photos of that do that document everything do, 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 do. There we go. Another photo done for that. Right, flat nose pliers. That way we can leave the hose in, in the machine itself. There we go, that's that one. That's there. Take the screw out. Place it. it saves that and done do none of that that's a bonus right that's done gotta undo that one undo that one there not really no right we should be able to salvage that tie without cutting any wires go to that put that over there we could probably reuse flat blade up it goes, push onto that, it's got the t locating tab, the locking tab, you got to push it down to pull it out, this one here is the same, this one here you've got to clip on the back, clip the pack off, that's that, right now I think from the pump perspective, we're better off taking it off here, off the drum, so we can leave the pump alone, because I can't actually access that pump. And it's a lot easier to get at that than actually get at the pump. So we need the screwdriver. Undo. That to there. Release that. And it's got a locator here so you can put it back on anyway. The same way. Wonder if we'll find any money. Probably not. Phew. All right, we'll leave the clamp on there. All right, get that brick off. That's the 13, isn't it? Yes. Just making it lighter. So I can handle it myself. Because it'll probably go that way anyway. Up through the top. The 
whole drum wheel anyway. Sit that there. You notice I'm leaving the bolts in the holes. That way I don't have to worry about where they go. Now, um, yes, we'll take those struts off. When we get them, get it all up here, I've got to put these screws back before I get too far ahead now. Getting way ahead of myself here. Losing track. This one goes in there somewhere, there. That rusty old thing went into the centre. That one went down here. Then two on the sides. You got no screws laying around then? Well, it could be a couple of days before I get around to doing anything with this. So, but anyway, um, we're basically almost up to, we can't take the drum apart yet. We probably could, but we're not going to, because we've still got wires going down to the motor. Hmm, undo that down there. Get that out out of the road. Get that up out of the road too. It's all caught up there. Flop it out so we can all see what we're doing down here. Got to undo this tie. We're not cutting those twisty ones. That way we can reuse it. Now, we've got another twisty one down there. We've got another twisty one down there. Way down the bottom down here. Get in there with the one hand. I'll un undo the wires. That's all loose there. This should be on by the earth is on a clip. I wonder if we can slide that up. Give us a bit more room. Should be able to. Give us a lot more room. Doesn't matter if there's a bit of water on the motor because I'm going to blow the motor out anyway. Get rid of all the carbon and God knows what. Um, so yeah, get that into there. Press that clip. They've always got a clip there, so it's best to have a little screwdriver handy. They're just fiddly to undo, that's all. Right, we know that goes there. This should just have a clip somewhere there. I reckon it might have. I just got to find it with my fingers. There it is. We got it out. I'll pull those wires right out there. That's all out. Out now the road. We can undo those struts. Boy, hmm, maybe, maybe by the top. Down this way, and then push them down. Maybe, maybe. <laughs> Do it a bit different. Give the push and the give it a shove. Push and a shove. Come on. Yeah, push and a shove. That's that one out. We know where it goes. Don't know where it went though. Right, this one's on the side. Come on, go down. Oh, I'm gonna hammer this one. Gonna give it the old hammer treatment. I can't even get that hammer in there. Bugger, I'll get another screwdriver, a little bit one. Tools are only quick and handy to grab. Oh, 
go down. There we go, we got it started. Pull it up, straighten it out, lift by the motor, see it's the heaviest. There we go, that's out. Put the struts back in, that way we're not taking them. They're in there, we'll grab them dowels later. Spring off there, put it back onto the shed or the, the unit. This feels very light, this one, so that's going to be good. Going to make it easy for me anyway. Put that back into there. Right, now, hopefully we should be able to take that straight out. Come on, out you come. There we go. We'll get him up on the bench. We'll get it apart. Get the motor off. Get the flywheel off. Hey, we're spilling everywhere. Still got water in it. Better watch the phone. Get our carcass out of the road. They can go back into this. That one there. That one there. Get our carcass gone. That two there. All the dingle dangles. Right. That is that. All my tools are wet now. That tool there is what we need. Get the flywheel off. Where'd the other part go? Here, in the wet. I'll, I'll get the motor off too while we're there. Get it done out of the road. Got to go bigger tool, bigger tool, rattle gun, and a bigger socket. Ah, uh, that is that one, I think. No, not that one. Not that one. I think it's that one. No, not that one. It's the wrong size. That's the right size. No, it's not the right size. <laughs> Damn! We're looking for a 16 mil. I don't know whether a 516 Whitworth fits. No, she's a bit small. You know, geez, I don't know. You know, I wasn't brought up with the Whitworth stage. I think that's a 14 mil. 916, it's pretty close. That's 16. Yep, 16 mil. I was the metric person. I grew up with metric. Uh, I don't want that. I want the battery. Give me the battery. That back bearing has shot itself out the bum. Look at this. Seal is just sitting there. Unreal. I need the number for that anyway. So that'll stay with that, so we know it goes that way only. You can't put it any other way to the looks of that. We'll just sit that there. Uh, motor next, so we want the battery back. Sit that back over in there. No, don't want to take it out. I want to leave that there, son. That to there, that to there, that to there, blah, blah, blah. Is that the longest screw? How much more, more, more water are we going to let out of this thing? Probably none, because we've probably got it all out by now. Right, there's 
there. We'll put them back into this when we fit. Got it off. I'm gonna put it back down the ground. Get rid of all the water. Oh, I can't get that off. Come on, mate. There we go. Got some action going now. I'll leave those there. They should be fine. Motor over there. And I'll put stack these. Like if I can't get around this to this today, um, putting it back together, I'll stack them in a pile inside the casing and go from there. So, yeah, that bearing's buggered. Look at that. That is falling apart. Shocker. I'll hang on to that because that's got the number on it. Put that up there so they're gonna definitely fall apart when i start tapping that out mm, interesting very interesting right now we'll turn it over this way and get the front face off our famous little one uh i need the adapter that one there that adapter there I'll get it right in a minute. I don't need that adapter. I've got one on it. Right, 10 mil down to go. They're all 10 mil. That's it. Oh, I'll get that front face off. And we'll inspect that inner part of that seal. As if it's a seal. They're not cheap, them things. The front door seal is not cheap. I've had a look for the part. It's about 115 bucks for that. So if it's got a gouge in it, I'm already down $115. But, like, if I can actually fix this thing, um, no, still make money out of it. That's the main thing, isn't it? Inside's pretty clean. Door seal has not been touched. Wacky do, but I'll give that a good clean because there is some crud. I'm talking some crud right here. If I can pluck that out, look at that. A bit of dirt or something there. Yeah, I'll give that a wash out. Get rid of all the crud and whatever is in there. There it is. Don't know what that would be, but anyway, it's not there no more. We'll give that a wash. Starting to get the black spots in there as well. As we all know, we hate those black spots in a washing machine. So I've got some stuff that actually cleans that. But the rest of the thing's okay. Sit that there. Now it's time to get this out. This might be a pain in the bum. Right, now the easiest way to get that, grab two milk crates. I just used them. Sit that there. Down there. Two milk crates. That way it's plastic on plastic. Turn this up, spill some more water. We haven't found no money yet. Oh, that might be coming out. Is it coming? No, we've got to tap it out. Piece of timber and oh, there's more water. Should come out pretty easy, hopefully. Cross some fingers here. Uh, got a piece of timber here ready with our big mallet. So Put the end of that down on it. And just give it a tap because that'll be in there pretty tight. There we go. Chop the moving. There we go. It's out. I done the other one a bit different where I used two hammers and stuff. I um, I know I shouldn't have used two hammers. Spider gear looks to be in good nick. I'll give that a good clean. Well, that's a good bear in there. Good seal. I might not. I'm, I'm in that far. Yeah, I'll give those surfaces a good clean up so they don't rust up. Uh, a bit of Scotch Bright and that sort of thing, it helps. So that's good there. Uh, we'll sit that in here for now. Gets it out of the road. Like I said, I mightn't get around to doing this today. Just finding out what parts I need. So I can go and order them. I've got another one that I've done. I 
haven't put her on video. She's one of those ones that I thought, well, I'll just get it done quickly. It is, um, it has been pulled apart and that sort of thing. I need a punch for that. Get that down there. That punch. I'm hoping this bearing, I might be better off. I know this one's the good one because that bearing there is definitely shot. I'm more concerned about that not coming out and having to get a chisel in on the inside to pull that out. I haven't got a bearing puller. I think I, even if I had a bearing puller, I wouldn't be able to pull it out. So this is my only way I can do these. The only way I've ever done things. Never had bearing pullers. That's moving. Hopefully it's not the not the inner case of the bearing. Cross fingers. No, it's not. That's a bonus. We got that one out with ease. There it all is there. So that's there. She's definitely knackered. Annihilated. Oh yeah, she's got some wobble in there. Look at that. Woohoo! She got some crud in that seal, so we'll definitely replace that seal. That's only a, oh, is that a double lip seal? Yes, yeah, she's only a double lip seal. We might be able to get that here locally. We'll find that out today. I've got another set of bearings I've got to take in anyway. So now for this one, that's lower. So we'll just use our milk crates again. So much easier using the milk crates. I'm not actually getting, lifting up heavy pieces of railway iron. And we'll get this lot out. Plastic on plastic is a lot better than metal on plastic. Right, that into there. Oh, yeah, that should be falling into there. That down to there. Put the foot on the whole thing. Can to wash it anyway? Sender's gone. Sender's out. Sender's completely out. Now I've got trouble. Trouble, trouble, trouble. Got to get a cold chisel now. We'll hang on to that because we'll probably still use it. Get a cold chisel. Little one here. This is what I, when I hate using them because I usually hit me goddamn hand. It's that short. It's coming. It's coming. Do, do away with that. Go back to this. This has got a couple of lips on it from hitting it a lot. That to there, to there. She's out. Winner, winner, chicken dinner. We're on a win. Well, let's hope so. Pick up all of our parts. We don't put anything on the ground. That's definitely broken. Ooh. Definitely get that a good old clean up. Get rid of all the rust around, out from inside that. Give it a wash. We'll wash it first before we start cleaning it out because that's a lot of crud in there. A lot of crud. Look at that, yuck. Now, I don't know what, what would have made the seal go because um, usually it's the seal that lets go first. So it could be soap powder, could be anything. It could have been a piece of dirt or, or gritty sand. You just never know. So I've got to get to clean that up. Well, probably not today, but I'll see if I can get the bearings today. Uh, probably clean that up tonight, and um, if I can get the bearings. Um, if I can't get the bearings, I know I can't get them online, so we're going to try and get them in town, because uh, they can usually pre-order seals in, bearings, and that sort of thing. We've got a decent bearing place here, where I usually go for the bearings, as long as I've got the number. Or even if I haven't got the number like this one here, which I know I have, I've uh, got a good side there. Got two good sides, just got to clean all the crud off. But if you've only got a bearing like that, they measure the outside, measure the inside, and they can get you the bearing. That's all you need. So anyway, on this one everyone, 
we'll get back to uh, back to work here and wash machine over here is still going so I'll finish the cycles on that one it's only got about 18 minutes on that one and uh, yeah she's almost lunch time here so I hope you've enjoyed tagging along this with, on this one and uh, if you like show us some love hit that like button and uh, while you hit showing some love and you if you want to subscribe don't forget to subscribe and if you do subscribe don't forget to hit the notification bell that's a lot of subscribing there so anyway till next time everyone happy dumpster diving happy repairing and happy dumpster diving i'll see you in the next one cheerio